As part of setting up your PDM implementation in your office, you're going to have to create users and groups. So in this video, we're going to show how we can add new users in the administration tool and then adjust what group they're in. So let's go ahead and jump right into the admin tool. I'm going to log into my vault. And if you go down, you see groups. I'm going to expand that. We have two groups created right now. And then we have a user list. So this is just a sample from my company. I'm going to go ahead and right click on users, select new user. Now it's a pretty easy process to go through. You just say new user, enter the new user's login name. So I'm going to go first initial last name. We'll enter in all the information, make a password and any other pertinent user data we want to put in here. Now, if we want to, we have the ability to copy permissions from other users. So if this user is joining a specific department, say the engineering department, for example, you can choose an engineer who has the settings that you want to copy, choose them from the drop down, and then just select next. Here you go through all of the properties of the user. So what group they're a part of, you can select on and off here administrative permissions, folder permissions, state permissions, transition permissions, permissions per file, and so on and so forth. So for each individual user, you can tweak this, but a good way to do it is to drop somebody in a group, and that way you can adjust their permissions for the whole group at one time. We're going to cover permissions in the next video, and right now we're just going to focus on adding these users. So now we just go ahead and click OK. And we've added the user to our group. You can see John Doe right here. So now let's slide up and make a new group. Very simple, same process. Just right click on group, hit new group. We're going to type in accounting. We're going to copy the permissions from the engineering group just to make it easy. We'll even go ahead and hit next. And now we have a new group. You can see all the group members. So far, we don't have any administrative permissions, and so on and so forth that you can adjust here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now you see I can double click on accounting, go to group members, click on add. And if I want to, I can add as many members as I want, and they all have membership in this group now. So pretty easy to make a new user or a new group, and all of these settings roll out to all the other machines instantaneously.